Hi everyone, Lucas here from Inspired Recruitment. I'm very excited you decided to join us today for our tutorial on how to build a good CV. Don't worry, you don't need to be a design expert, only just going to take a few minutes. So stay with us and let's start. So we are going to open Microsoft Word on the computer. So for this, you click on the four windows at the bottom left of the screen if you have a Windows computer. Once it's open, we click on new, search for online templates. We can write either CV, either resume. So you can see that we have a large range of choices for both options. I encourage you to choose a CV or resume you feel match your personality. Obviously, we also want to stand out from the crowd. We want to be different. The system is very similar if you use a Mac, so you can also open uh, Microsoft Word, just the search bar is at the top right of the screen instead of being on the left. Uh, and here we can write CV or resume and you can see that we also have an extensive choice of options. Uh, I'll let you decide, will it take you time? You can scroll down. Uh, just before also you might pick an option, I'm going to show you another alternative. It's called Canva. For this one, you are going to open Google Chrome. Uh, you are going to write down Canva, C-A-N-V-A. -A. You click on the link, you might need to create an account. And on the search bar, we can also write res resume or CV. And you will see that we have also a lot of professional and great alternatives. Now that we have selected our templates, we are going to write down at the top of our CV our contact details, including phone number, email and address. Obviously, we want to be reachable. Then we are going to write down our teaching accreditation or registration number so schools or educational establishments can double check straight away that we are compliant. We also want to write down the subjects or the year level we prefer or we are qualified to teach. We also want to include our working rights if we are citizen, if we have a visa or if we need a visa. Right now, some schools in regional areas are looking to sponsor, so don't desperate, it might be the right time for you. Then we are going to write our teaching qualifications. I will invite you to add the one related to education on the top, uh, Master first, Bachelor second, if you have a Master of course, uh, and then all the other qualifi qualifications below. I also really encourage you to write down your professional experience but to rank them in an oncological order we want to see where you work last and to conclude please add free referees and when i say free referees please don't add anyone from your family or friends you want to try to get your supervisor or to managers or school principals or head of subjects you have worked in the past if you are a graduate you can simply write down your lecturer or the course manager of your teaching degree, master or bachelor, that has no importance. We are now almost done. I would love to have a look at your CV, so if you want, you can submit your CV at inquiries at inspiredrec.com.au. The email should appear at the bottom of your screen. One of our team members will review it and will give you a call to confirm that everything is ready. If you enjoyed the video, please click on subscribe to our channel. We will add regular content to help you to optimize all your chances to secure a fantastic position. Thanks for watching us and from all the Inspired Recruitment team, we wish you a lovely day.